Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin, and a thunderstorm just started outside. Good times. Um, but today is Friday, which means it's time for Fridays with Fred. So Fridays with Fred are the days we're going through my progress on the projects I'm working through this book. My plan is to work through this entire book and share it with you. This book is Knitting the Neighborhood is the official knitting patterns of Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. We had a vote at the beginning and the selected pattern was the Beginnings Cardigan which is a pattern designed by Carla Patrick. Here it is. And I am making this in brown for my husband, Brian. The yarn I am using is uh, Hayfield Bonus Aaron Tweed. <laughs> and I got it from the Wool Warehouse. It was very affordable given it is 400 gram balls. They are gigantic. I am very excited about my progress this week. Last week, you know, I was very, very close to finishing the right front panel. I've already finished the back, the back and the left front panel. And I have just finished the right front panel. Look at that. The back, the left front panel, and the right front panel have all come from one ball of this yarn. One ball. When I say these are generous large balls, they are, they are indeed. So I am still working on that same ball and I have begun one of the sleeves. It's barely started. I'm like four rows in, but it has begun. So I have two sleeves and you make a separate shawl collar and sew it on. And then I am done with this sweater. This is coming along quite nicely. I'm impressed. The needles I'm using blah, 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 are my Chowgu interchangeable needle set. I like the steel five and a half inch tips. I believe they come in four inch tips as well. If you like a slightly smaller tip, I don't remember what length I'm using. Basically I have the length that I'm used for the back and then I was too lazy to change the cord and I just keep going. <laughs> so that's that. The, I am, I am very close to being done with this ball of yarn. This is all I have left. So I've got a handful of yarn. So during this sleeve, I will have to connect my next ball. When I purchased this yarn, I didn't know what I was going to make, but I thought I wanted a sweater. And just in case I bought three of them, I am going to have a lot left over, which is awesome because I was kind of hoping I would have enough to make myself like a sweater vest or something. And I think I'll probably have enough to make definitely a vest, if not my very own sweater out of this stuff. So I am excited. I'm so excited. Um, it's getting closer and closer and closer and closer. Both sleeves are exactly the same. So I just have to make two. The shawl collar is, it looks like it's pretty, a pretty small thing to create and then sew it all together. And then of course I also have to install the zipper, which I think is going to be the uh, most complicated part of the entire pattern. I've said this before, there's no picking up stitches. I did read the instructions for the shawl collar last night and you do have to cast on, like you create it, you knit a bit and then you cast on to make a, like a little bloop. I think it will make sense once I start making it. But basically you make it and you're making like an oval and then you have to like extend the oval a little bit and then you're going to cut it off. It's, I think it'll make sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am excited and we're pushing forward. We're moving ahead. We're doing it. We're making the things. Brian is excited and I've been getting questions about whether or not he will model it for us once it is completed. Honestly, I don't think there's a way to stop him, even if we wanted to. <laughs> so do not worry. I am sure Brian will be more than happy to show off the sweater once it is completed. Um, I am uh, hoping to have it done by fall. And I think at the pace I'm going, it. Uh, um, I got two sleeves and the collar and the sewing together. There is a chance it's done I finish it in August, so it's done for September. I believe, I think it'll definitely be done for October. So I, I'm not willing to bet on September, but October, I'm pushing for it. I think it'll get done for 
October. The sleeves are smaller than any part I've made. So I've made all of the big sections and it's going smaller, smaller, smaller. So you started with the back, which was the largest, the sides smaller than that, the sleeves are smaller than the sides, and then the shawl collar will be like nothing once you compare it to everything else you've done. So we're getting there, like I said, like I keep saying, we're getting there. And then once I'm done with this, we'll show it off and then I will have another voting and we'll see what project I start working on next. It will not be a sweater though. So I'll nominate um, patterns from the other parts of the books and we'll see what we pick. I just don't wanna do sweater back to back. Personal preference, we'll do another sweater. I'll put another sweater on the list. Not to worry, cause we're doing it all. We're doing it all. I'd like to kind of intersperse the sweaters throughout. Um, by far the largest section of that book is the sweaters. Um, like it's, I think it's got like eight sweaters and then like four accessories or something like that. Um, where's the pattern? Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, there are eight different sweaters. There are four puppets. There are four accessories. There are five toys and three blankets. So if we could go like sweater, something else, and like intersperse, we'll figure it out. It'll be fun for all. We'll have fun. And if anybody wants to join in, you're more than welcome. The book will be linked down below. It is an Amazon link, just because that is, I believe, the most accessible for most people. It is not an affiliate link. I don't have any affiliate links or anything like that. It's just a link to find the book. Check your thrift bookstores, half price books, uh, thrift books, is it thriftbooks.com? There's like Abe books. Check all of the resources. I got this from voguenitting.com. They have sales on their print patterns and pattern books pretty frequently. Um, I see, I got this on a 50% discount, 5 0. I've seen 40%, and I've seen 30% discounts. So it's a mailing list worth getting on. They don't send tons and tons of messages. So I appreciate that. You know, sometimes you get on those mailing lists and it's like three messages a day. And you're like, ah, oh, no, I don't need to know that much. Please stop. I have not felt that way about this one. <laughs> Although now that I'm saying it, I, I wonder when my next Vogue Knitting magazine is coming. I hope it's soon. Those are fun. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye!